He is known for his significant contributions in both organic and inorganic chemistry, including the isolation of beryllium and yttrium in pure metallic form. He is recognized for his groundbreaking synthesis of urea, which challenged the belief in vitalism and demonstrated that organic compounds could be produced from inorganic substances. His name is Friedrich Wohler. In the annals of scientific history, there is a name that stands out, Friedrich Wohler, a German chemist whose contributions to both organic and inorganic chemistry are legendary. Wohler's brilliance and ingenuity led him to achieve groundbreaking feats in the field of chemistry. He was the first to isolate the chemical elements beryllium and yttrium in pure metallic form, a remarkable feat that expanded our understanding of the periodic table. But Wohler's impact goes beyond the realm of inorganic chemistry. He made seminal contributions to organic chemistry, most notably through his groundbreaking synthesis of urea. At the time, it was widely believed that organic compounds could only be produced by living organisms, thanks to a mysterious life force. However, Wohler shattered this belief by successfully synthesizing urea in the laboratory from inorganic substances. This discovery revolutionized our understanding of organic chemistry and marked a turning point in the field. Wohler's achievements didn't stop there. He also pioneered the preparation of various inorganic compounds, including silane and silicon nitride. His work pushed the boundaries of scientific knowledge and paved the way for new advancements in both organic and inorganic chemistry. Friedrich Wohler's legacy as a trailblazing chemist continues to inspire generations of scientists, reminding us of the profound impact scientific inquiry can have on our understanding of the world. Wohler, a renowned chemist, made significant contributions to the field of inorganic chemistry. His groundbreaking work involved the isolation and purification of several chemical elements. One such element was aluminium, which had been previously isolated by Hans Christian Ørsted. However, Ørsted's findings were not successfully replicated until Wohler stepped in. With Ørsted's permission, Wohler modified the methods for isolating aluminium, using potassium metal instead of potassium amalgam for the reduction of aluminium chloride. This improved method allowed Wohler to isolate pure aluminium powder in 1827, which he later demonstrated could be converted into solid balls of pure metallic aluminium. As a result, Wohler is credited with the first isolation of aluminium metal in its pure form. In addition to aluminium, Wohler also made significant discoveries in the isolation of other elements. In 1828, he became the first to isolate beryllium and yttrium in their pure metallic forms by heating their anhydrous chlorides with potassium metal. These achievements further solidified Wohler's reputation as a pioneer in the field. Wohler's collaboration with French chemist Saint Clair de Ville led to the isolation of the element boron and silicon in crystalline forms. Previously, crystalline forms of these elements were unknown. Additionally, Wohler, along with Heinrich Buff, prepared the inorganic compound silane and developed a method for the preparation of calcium carbide. Beyond his work with chemical elements, Wohler also explored the chemical composition of meteorites. He discovered that some meteoric stones contain organic matter, shedding light on the origins and composition of these celestial objects. Wohler's extensive research on meteorites earned him recognition as a leading authority in the field. Wohler's contributions to inorganic chemistry revolutionized our understanding of chemical elements and their properties. His pioneering work in isolating and purifying elements like aluminium, beryllium, yttrium, boron, and silicon laid the foundation for further advancements in the field. His research on meteorites also expanded our knowledge of extraterrestrial matter. Friedrich Wohler's legacy lives on as one of the greatest scientists in the field of inorganic chemistry. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.